Hello, my name is Iris Palashik. I am a Year 8 student at Ardor Intermediate, and I'm going to tell you about my science fair project, Chords for Kitties. The first step is always to brainstorm a question. I saw my cat when our family listened to music. Sometimes his ears pricked up, and sometimes they didn't. I thought, what if I inquired into how cats react to music? After a lot of thinking and evolving my question, I conjured up, how do different tempos in music affect a cat's resting behavior? Chords for Kitties is an inquiry into the minds of cats to see if they have preferences for different kinds of species-appropriate music. Yes, cat-specified music is out there. Many people play classical music to their cats, but that is not as soothing as it seems. They could instead play a different melody, if they knew where to look. This project was done so that people could have simple, some simple knowledge about what cats like and don't like in their music, so we can have a calm cat when we leave the house. After I got my question and purpose completed, I started to research all about cats' hearing ranges and body language when they're scared, angry, or completely relaxed. I also researched what cat species appropriate music contains. At the end of my research, looking on YouTube revealed one piece which was high and fast, one which was high and slow, and one that was high and fast with nature sounds incorporated into it. Those pieces were chosen to test on the cats to provide a range of music to play. Using all the information I had collected, my brother and I created our own piece of music to test on cats as well. I knew that it had to be high and medium speed because I had high, fast, and high, slow. I created my list of cats to test, and I set off to create my method with my four music pieces. I decided to test the six cats I chose for one minute per music piece with at least 15 minutes rest in between. That way, the effects of the music would wear off before the next one played. The cats were also going to be tested three times each music piece for a liability. This meant that each cat had 15 tests because I also tested them with no sound. Thanks to my teachers, Mrs. Dunn, Mrs. DG Mick, my grandparents, and my friend Olivia for testing their cats. I had some difficulty with the volume of the music. Because if you put all the music at volume 100%, they would still be different volumes because of how they were recorded. Therefore, I used a decibel reading app so that all the music pieces would be played in between 30 and 40 decibels. Testing the cats was also difficult because of how much time it took to test each cat. Then there was the result recording process where I had to look through each test individually and mark off their behaviours on the cat stress score by Kessler and Turner, which can be found on my final presentation. One last minor inconvenience was getting ethics approval for cords for kitties, but in the end it was quite easy because there was only one form. If this experiment was to continue, I would test on a wider variety of music and incorporate other elements into it. For example, I could do it when the cat is eating, that way I could discover if cats like different music at different times of the day. Another thought is I could test music on dogs or guinea pigs and other household pets. I had a lot of fun doing this project. It was great to see all the different reactions from cats and I learned a lot. Thanks for listening.